we are going to work on push-pull tosses. So for your push-pull toss, you are going to originate kind of from a right slam position, just to be a little bit modified. So if I'm here in my right slam, I'm going to slide my left hand down to this bottom cheater, and my right hand I'm going to slide down to the hidden tape. You can kind of feel that into the silk there if you have that taped into onto your pole. Um, and that is going to be your position. So my right hand is still going to be underneath. Is that that hidden tape? My left hand is still going to be over. You just add that left cheater there. All right. So for your push pull, um, this is a very standard colored guard toss. We're just going to start with a single. Um, that's a really good place to begin, and then you can kind of work up your rotations from there as you start to do your singles really well. All right, so for our single push pull, you really want to practice the prep and make sure that you're thinking through all of the key points of your prep to do this toss well. So in this position, I'm still going to be boxed out. I'm still pulled away from my body here from the side, as you can see. And I'm going to think about pulling, uh, pushing down with my left hand and pulling up with my right hand. So there's kind of two schools of thought on how it's spelled for push pull. Is it the pulling down, pushing up action that gives it its name stick? Or is it you're um, pushing on the pull, P-O-L-E, to give it what it needs? I usually push, uh, will spell it as push, P-O-L-E, pull, because you're pushing the pull up. But I feel like either way is very accurate for the actions that you're taking to do this move. So with this, you're going to push that left hand down and you're going to really give it some leverage here as you go. Um, so you're really going to push down and then leave that left hand down by your side. And at the same time, you're going to take your right hand and you're going to be pulling up but also rotating. So with that rotation, you're going to think I like to think of it like an elevator where your hand is always going to stay in this vertical area as you do your rotation. A lot of times when people want to do a push pull, they want to take a motion out here. So you want to avoid that type of motion. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So what you do want to do, if you're thinking elevator straight up with your right hand, you're going to start to um, rotate here. So I'm just bringing my silk toward me and I'm starting to lift my elbow and my arm a little bit as I go, and I'm still rotating, still rotating, still rotating. And so um, once I get to this flat position here where the pole is on my left side, this is about the position that I'm going to start to do that last final push up with that right hand for a pole extension to release my, um, my push pull toss. So some of you might have to give like a really good push into that. Some of you might not need to like fully extend that arm for that momentum. It's going to depend on your strength starting out. Um, the length of your arms can make a difference too. And just feel what feels right for you. Um, but that is what you're looking for. You'll notice, take a look at my right arm as I do this, but I'm staying just right here up and down within my body where, um, with where my right hand stays. So I'm rotating, 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 and pushing up. Now, the one that I want you to avoid is this type of movement where you're kind of going outside of your body with this right arm, so you don't want to go here. Yeah? You don't want that arm to fully extend out and then around, because then you're going to find your flag not tossing up, but it's going to toss up and over. So you really want to avoid that. All right, I'm going to show you what that prep looks like from the back as well, so um, you're not looking at the mirror image for a second here. So when I'm prepping, I'm pushing down and I'm rotating, 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 and then I'm pushing up. Okay, so now we're going to go into the release of our push pull toss. Um, so really thinking about the resistance of your left hand pushing down and your left hand or your right hand pulling up at the same time and pushing into that release. And thinking about all three of those things at once will help get that um, toss going vertical for you. So here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. All right, so some things that you can also think about with your push pull toss is um, when you release, we talked about before keeping your feet planted. So don't lift those uh, heels, don't shift your feet if you don't have to. Make sure that you're catching with both of your hands. Um, at the same time, really nice and strong there. Um, and then another thing actually that will really help with your tosses 
is as you go into that release, think about exhaling when that piece of equipment leaves your hands. Um, when you exhale, it allows the rest of your body to relax as you go into that exhale. A lot of times when people are doing tosses, you'll see them really tense up because they're afraid of what's in the air, if they're going to catch it, if it's going to hit them or somebody. Try to relax and that exhale will allow you to do that. So instead of going like this, where you've got that tension in your shoulders, you want to think where you've got that relaxed lowered sh shoulder level. And that will just make it look a lot better. Um, that's going to also just allow it to come out of your hands a bit better as well. All right, so I'm going to show you the back view as well of your push pull. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. And again, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. And that is your push pull toss.